One of you asked me about whether you should wet finish or wash your inkle bands once you finish weaving them. And I had to say I didn't know. I hadn't really thought about it too much. And because I'm fairly new to inkle weaving myself, um, it's not something that I had really considered very much. Um, so I decided to do a little bit of research. So I went on some Facebook groups and looked around the internet as you do. And there are a variety of opinions on this. Um, some people say, no, absolutely not. No need to wash your wrinkle band. It comes off the loom perfect. Why would you want to do anything with it? Um, another person with some amount of vehemence said that no finished, uh, no woven product is ever finished until it's wet, finished and dried in a tumble dryer and pressed. Okay, well, it still comes back to a matter of opinion, doesn't it? So anyway, um, I decided to take one of my inkle bands, one of my first inkle bands, and I hadn't washed it. I just had it sitting there. I thought it looks lovely the way it is. And um, I put it into a hot hand wash. So I did put a little bit of washing powder, just a very small amount, in fairly hot, you know, hand hot water. Um, this is with an 8-2 cotton band and I sat it in there. I didn't really agitate, only just pressed it enough to get it saturated with the water and let it sit for an hour or so. Then I gave it a warm rinse and I hung it out to dry. So I don't have a dryer and I don't intend on purchasing one. And then when it was still damp, um, I gave it a hot iron and then hung it to uh, dry once again. And then when it was completely dry, I gave it another hot iron. So what's the verdict? Well, the verdict is, it was a really nice looking inkle band before, and it's a really nice, nice looking inkle band now. Um, I think either way, it's really up to the weaver, whether you want to wet finish or not. Um, something, well, a couple of things I have noted about this one when I washed it I was actually surprised about the amount of dye that came out of it and the water did look kind of dirty now whether that's from um, as some people say that your fingers you know the natural oils on your hands and everything because you are handling the inkle band constantly you're actually manipulating it with your fingers um, that the oils go onto the fabric as you're weaving it um, yeah that's possible and yeah, some of the dyes actually came out of the cotton, which I've had with commercially dyed cotton before as well, depending on the colors. Some colors will come out more than others. Um, another thing that I've noticed after washing it is the natural sheen of the cotton, I think, is coming out a little bit more now. Um, I think it does look just a little bit smarter, neater, shiny, um, but... You know, it comes down to personal preference. If you're going to use your inkle band for your own project and you don't think that you need to wash it, then that's fine. Go ahead. Um, one person on one of the groups did mention that, you know, every item that is going to be sold, handwoven item, should be washed. And yeah, I, I guess I agree with that. You know, if you're selling your woven items, you should be presenting them in their um, in the best way that you can and um, certainly after washing this one and seeing that the water was not clean um, I would definitely be wanting to wash my inkle bands before selling them um, but other than that oh and also another consideration I thought of perhaps would be um, if you were applying one of your inkle bands to a garment and that garment was going to be washed and you hadn't washed your inkle band or wet finished it previously uh, would there be some sort of movement or um, shrinkage or whatever possible that would then affect your end garment? So if I was going to use it on a garment that was going to be washed or anything that was going to be washed, yes, I would wet finish it first. So I hope that helps you.